What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Well, guys, it's looking like Eneka will not be remembered by Potomac, like she said in her tagline, because she is dismissed, okay? So that they have reportedly axed her from RHOP. And honestly, I say good riddance. And it's a shame because, you know, the way that she came in was just she came in on a thousand. It wasn't necessary. And she was on the wrong team. She shouldn't have been on a team at all. Honestly, she came in with all of this. Your mama is praying to shrines at night and worshiping God by day when it came to Wendy and her mom. So listen, I don't have any reason to not believe Wendy and who her mama believes in and who her mama prays to. So whoever her mama is praying to, which Wendy says she's praying to God and Jesus, it's looking like it worked because I'm quite sure <laughs> that mom prayed for this wretched woman to leave her daughter alone and not be able to be on the same platform that her daughter is on. And it looks like the prayers were answered because she has been dismissed. So the Bravo Shade Room is reporting that Aneka has been reportedly fired from the Real Housewives of Potomac. So the few things that she tried to slip in there at the reunion and Wendy was just like, eh, you know, we can be cordial when we're out, but it looks like Wendy was already feeling like she's not even going to be around. So why would you all want me to make an effort to try to mend anything with this woman that came for me in the first place. I don't know about all of that that stuff that is extremely controversial when it comes to the caste system in Nigeria, but Ashley was wrong. I'm glad Wendy checked Ashley on that. And Aneka should have done the same thing. I just I, I'm I'm just I don't I don't have much for her. And at this point in time, it's not even necessary because she's not even coming back. So all that weirdness that she had with Wendy when they were at the drag show and Wendy was doing her thing and Aneka was doing the thumbs down behind her back. (laughs) Girl, what was all of that for? You know, this is going to be looked back on and you're just going to look ridiculous and rightfully so. So she came and went and she will not be remembered, like she said in her tagline. So good riddance so a lot of people are saying that yeah it's even if wendy's mama was praying to shrines it looks like it worked in her favor because babe you are dismissed and speaking of being dismissed robin she spoke on her leaving the show and i felt like she was throwing a little bit of shade at candace which it's so good that candace is like i'm i'm done with the show and i'm done with you ladies that we're not really my friends so people confirm that robin is leaving rhop after eight seasons so she announced on the newest episode of her podcast that she does with the other green-eyed heffa reasonably shady that was just published on monday the 15th she says i'm okay with it because nothing lasts forever yes I will not be returning for season nine of The Real Housewives of Potomac. It's reality. The network did not invite me back. I was fired, for lack of better words. I will not sugarcoat the situation, the situation and say, oh, I am walking away and this is a break or anything like this. This is a network decision. See, that was her throwing shade at Candace to try to make it seem as if Candace was fired And instead of her saying that she was fired, she's just going to say that she's decided to leave or she's taking a break or she's got other things that she's working on. 
Candace indeed made the decision to leave on her own. But I believe that Robin is trying to throw some salt on that, make it look muddy, to cause people to wonder and think, hmm, was she really dismissing herself from the, situa- from the situation and from the show? Or was she dismissed? Because you know X, Y, and Z. That was just her being messy. That was her attempt at trying to throw shade. And it just didn't work. Because <laughs> after that, that's when, you know, Candace came out to announce that she and Chris are expecting their first child together. So girl, bye. Go and focus on your business. I don't even know how that's going to work because I already talked about that before that I felt like that was a terrible decision and a terrible investment to make because it is extremely expensive to have beauty businesses such as the type that she has decided to rent a space for and to hire employees that have to be licensed professionals to work in the industry and you don't really have the financing to back it like that, girl, good luck. I'm not here to wish anything negative over the business, but I just don't feel that it was a smart business decision because she made that decision ultimately before she knew that she was not going to be asked to come back. I really believe that people like herself, she isn't the only one, but people like herself who get on those reality shows and then they become entrepreneurs after the fact, a lot of times... Things don't work out for them after they're no longer a part of the franchise because they use the checks that they have to fund the business. It's just the reality, like the real of reality TV. So anyway, yeah, her trying to be messy and make it seem like Candace didn't really leave on her own volition, but she actually was terminated. But she's like, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say that it was you know, my decision to leave or I'm taking a break. No, it was a network decision. Yeah, it was for her. But don't try to make it seem like that's the same situation for Candace. Candace decided to leave and she made the announcement before the reunion even aired. The first episode at that. So guys, you can let me know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.